time in connection on third publication. Of 
sensation of the new thought, especially in Jaivodharma. Jaivodharma is the last book of Srila, of the new thought. So he has taken all the essence in a very little pot, whole ocean of bhakti has been given in very little pot. He has tried. And it is not so very hard to go through them. So I think that it will be proper for you all that if you want to realize the writings of your Prabhupada, of the Vedanta Swami Maharaj and Jeev Goswami and all others, first we should try to go through Jayavadana. Sri Bhakti Vinod Thakur has translated and he has explained explanations, vastya of all the books of Goswami. So when I joined Mart, Guru Maharaj right, kindly suggest, suggested me to read first Jaiva Dharma. Now what I am telling only by the mercy of Bhakti Vinod Thakur through Jaiva Dharma. And then I read Srimad Bhagavatam, Sarsam Darbha, all the books come. Govinda Bhashya and all the books of all Goswamis. So, very easy the books of Sri Bhagavad So, in modern class, I will try to give some essence of the literatures and all kinds of established truth in modern class. The process. Yes, explain to kinds of process. One taking and other gives them. Those who are favorable, we should accept. And those who are unfavorable, we do give up. So in the teachings of Upadeshamrita by Rupusha, first he has told that what, should, what are unfavorable, they should be given. And what is favorable, accept all these things. Now I am coming in the sweet past tense of Krishna. I think that these are more powerful. More, more, more powerful. If anyone has pure shraddha, transcendental faith, and with that faith, anyone is hearing so, with so honor and so strong belief, this Hari Katha. Or from a powerful devotee who is vocab and Niragi Bhakta. From Niragi Bhakta. There are two kinds of Bhakta. Bhakta means Niragi and Saragi. Saragi is those who have some worldly desire to feel some attachment in world. And by Hari Katha they want to test all this. They are Saragi. If anyone hearing their Hari Katha, momentarily there will come something. But it will not be steady. It will go away. But those who are Niragi having no attraction to what they desires to taste all these things. And having some realization and his perfecting all Shastra, Prabrahmani Vishnu, and Prabrahma, and also in Shabda Brahma. Shabda Brahma is Srimad Bhagavat. And Parabrahma always engaging himself, observing himself in chanting, remembering, thinking like this. Then is Nirāna Bhakta. 
लाइक सुखदेव गोस्वामी परीक्षित महाराज लाइक कदाकर पंडित लाइक आदर्श भक्ति विलोम ठाकुर निराग भक्त देन देर विल बी नो चांस ऑफ फॉल नेवर तो हरि कथा विल कम थ्रो अवर इयर्स प्योर इयर्स एंड इट विल बी इन द शेप ऑफ कृष्ण हिमसेल्फ एंड देन ही विल क्लियर अवर हार्ट एंड ही विल मेक हिमसेल्फ ए सी वेरी गुड सी देयर एंड देन ही विल रियल so before beginning our shim bhagavat sweet hari kata we will have to do prayer to shila sukadev gosha yang prabhajan tamanupetam abhita kritam dvaipayo irah katar ajha putreti tan maya tarvo vinedu tan vyas Once uh, all the pure rishis and gurus <coughs> assembled in Navishara, Kali was coming. It, Krishna has left this world with his all associates in Braj Dwarka and all. So all. Kaukam Kali was coming, so all were very fearful. What to do now? Time will come very hard. What should we do? And the Indian time, Sudh Goswami came there, and he became bias to tell Hari Kata. Someone can about eighty-eight thousand of the Rishi is known. All at that assembled there, and they asked, especially for the human beings in Kali, these two, and all will quarrel among for worldly things. So many wars. human being even male and female will give up their religion and anything all will be engaged in worldly matters mating and all other thing how should we do what we should kaise hamara kalyan hoga shreya yes sir How we will then we did it. Then we did this pranam and began Shiva Bhagavat. Yam praprajanta manu pe tama pe ita kritam. I am doing namaskar to my guru Dev. To Shiva Shukde Gosha. Who is all pervading? Pervading. He is in atoms everywhere because Krishna is there. Radha, Simati, Radhika, Kanjiv, Sa, everywhere on all atoms, atoms, trees and creepers, even human body, everywhere they are. There is no place where he is there. So to serve their this Kanjiv. All the bona fide gurus are there. All bona fide gurus. In Baladev or Nityanand, always they are. Krishna without Baladev Prabhu never exist anywhere. So our guru must be there. So Sudh Goswami is telling that my guru there is all for getting everywhere. Serving is. Conjugal. But don't see that our Guru Dev is dead. He never dies. 
if he is gonna fight Guru? Never. No question. So he is doing pranam. That you are everywhere. Inspiring Krishna Bhakti in all. I know that. When you took birth, no serenity was there. Not cutting off that. No jat karma was there. Pati jat karma. Purification process. Cutting the end of the floor. Yeah. And clearing and taking bath and all these things. So many cows giving donation and all these things. There was no shame. And now at once he quickly left that place. And then his father Vyas began to cry. Ocean, where you are, where you are going? Ocean, ocean. And all the trees in Oko replied. Oh, who is son? Who is father? Who is mother? Who is son? Who is sister? Valli mohe vaji karan. Valli attachment is the cause, root of all these things. Why you are calling that? So trees are replying in echo. Who is this Sukhdev Goswami? Who is telling so sweet? Even Narada is present there. Even Vyasdev is there. Parashar is there. All are there in the council of Aishit Maharaj. But all requested Sukhdev Goswami, who was naked. Why they? So we should know that who is, who are Sukhdev. He was the parent of Srimati Radhika. Srimati Radhika always used to keep this parrot with her. Everywhere. She has a golden case, sometimes out of case, sometimes in case. And sweetly carousing. Carousing. And he used to tell, oh, you should repeat me. Krishna, Krishna. And the parrot in the same voice, so sweet voice of Srimati Radhika. They are totally following him. If you, in our village, there was a person who kept a parrot. And sometimes he used to go to his house, home. Oh, come here, come here, who are you? Stop it. Nonsense, nonsense. Go away, go away. Sometimes. And he used to say, oh, who is he? <laughs> and in the voice of his master. <laughs> oh, no, he then he felt hidden and telling like this. But after some, oh, you, you better, this parrot is dead. And somewhere this parrot is like, Ram, 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 Radha Krishna, Radha Krishna, telling like this. In a very sweet voice. It depends on the master who teaches them. So, this parrot was with Srimati and she was giving him her uh, pomo, pomegranate seeds, reddish, like pearls. And sometimes he used to give milk and very long rice, basmati chow, very sweet, very tasty. And he used to take and to follow Sri Radhika. Krishna, Krishna. In same sweet voice of Radhika. Anyone cannot distinguish whether Srimati Radhika is telling, uh, uttering or he is uttering. One day she was doing so and he was repeating Krishna, Krishna. But he flew from the Palms of Srimati Radhika. Very near Nandagam. Both each other. Eh? Only there is difference of two fingers. The border of Nandagam and border of Parsham. 
plenty of so much there. Uh, Kadamba trees in Nandagaon and plenty of Tamal Krishna in in no Barshan Tamal in Barshan and some Kadamba trees there. But it may be some Tamal trees in Nandagaon and some being Barshana Kadamba but very little. We have seen in Nandagaon about thousand and thousand of Kadamba trees, Kadamba Khandi there. Kadamba tree also where? Kadamba tree where? Krishna used to take his fruit and climb on the top of the tree and he used to tell me, Oh, Shamali, Gauri, Kalindi, calling all the cows. And sometimes in the midnight, O oh, Radhike, O oh, Lalite, O oh, Vishakhi, O oh, like this call. This is called Kadamba Te. So everywhere. Still now, but so many are have expired in the separation of Krishna and Radhika. So that sparrow came in Nandagon and sat on the branches of any tree, Tamal tree, because they like Tamal tree because Srimati Radhika likes Tamal tree and the color of both are like same and began to speak utter Krishna, 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 Krishna and Madhubangal was at that time play with Krishna so Krishna then heard that about from where Radhika came and he began to search Radhika very Radhika and calling me the Krishna, Krishna. But he could not see. Then he saw on the tree branch that oh, very beautiful parrot with reddish nose. nose. <laughs> and big. Very beautiful. And, and he saw. Then he began to utter Krishna. And after some moment he began to tell, I am so unworthy, so unworthy, and akritavkya, ungrateful, by nature, because we are birds. I was sitting on the palm of Srimati Radhika, always the door sitting, giving name and sweet of Anishesh. And so much loving, 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 always. But I am so ungrateful creature that I left Srimati Radhika. And coming here, fine on me, fine. And Krishna saw that, oh, she is lamenting. He is so much lamenting. He told that. Come on, come on, in sweet voice, my dear parrot, come on, come on, come on. And seeing this, he at once came on the hands of palms of Krishna. He began to caress, caress, yes. and tell that, oh, so, please tell what you are uttering. Then she began to talk, oh, Krishna. I am so ungrateful creature. I am so ungrateful. I was playing on the palms of Srimati Radhika and she was so much giving me so much honor. So many sweet things and I have left her and I have come to here. So fine on me. Hearing this is slow. Kabi Kandu my friend. That is slow. Very beautiful. And he began to be that arrow. Krishna told that. Oh, you have come to me. And you should repeat this 
time to time to do. I want to play with you. I want to also give rice and sweet and pomegranate sweets. Pomegranate. On And you should be with me. When they were telling me, doing loving their parrot, at once two sakhis came, Lanta and Bisham. There was so much worry for that parrot. They went to Krishna and told, Oh my dear Kanaiya, this parrot is of Radhika. True. Its name is like Vichakshan. Uh, Vichakshan. And he is very sweet to Radhika. This parrot is life and soul of Radhika. If you are taking this and keeping with you, she may die. So please that one escape this parrot. I will, we will take it and leave. And she is so worried for this. He told Krishna replied that if it is your soup and your Srimati soup, then you can call and if he is going easily to you, you can take it at once. They try so much that, oh parrot, come on, come on, Srimati is calling you, but he was very peaceful in the hands of and sometimes calling Krishna, Krishna. Krishna that told that, it seems that this parrot is not your Srimati. It is fine. So you can call and if he is going, no problem. But I will not give you in any case. He may go. They tried hard but fell. They entered in the council of Srimati Yasuda Devi and told, Oh Mother, Yasuda. And they do pranam. Yasuda told that, Oh, you seem very worried. Why you are so worried? They began to tell all the history that the parrot of Srimati Radhika has come here flying and it is playing with, uh, Krishna is playing with him and he is not giving us. So Radhika may die for this. She is so worried. She has left his uh, food and taken water everything. So it must come to us so that we can be returned to Srimati Radhika. Then Srimati, Yashoda told us, Oh my daughters, you should wait a little. Don't worry. And he at once went to Krishna and Madhamangal. And they were playing with that. Oh, you should repeat what you are telling and hearing and getting something to eat. In the man, Yashoda came at once and took the bird. Very firstly. What you are doing? And to stoop the ear of Krishna twisting, oh Nand Baba is waiting for you to take Mahaprasadam and you are here with birds and so many animals and you want to be animal and birds. Oh, this will come and he took the hands of Krishna, uh, taking Krishna for serving. And what Mangal was telling, like she, seeing what is happening. At once she came and he stayed here and he came in the room where two girls were waiting and she oh, take it. And at once he used to go to there and they returned. So you can think that how and who was this shuk. But how he became in the shape of a man, this parent. You know that all the birds, all the serpents, all the animals, deers, everything of Krishna log are transcendental. All are transcendental. It has been written by Silaravna Das Goswami, Jatkin Chetan Golmaki Katamukam Goste Shamastan Vita. Sarvananda Mukunda Taitam Lila Nukulam Param Shastri Rilpur Murnishtan Vitam Yanchaya Brahmadir Vishastri Hantato Sarvam Vayayadam Vandati 
Ragnath Das Goswami doing Vandana to all creepers, all trees, all the animals, even to a scorpion, even to snakes and all. Why? Oh, you are all associate, transcendental associate of Krishna. You can give Krishna bliss and Krishna bhakti, pure bhakti. So I am praying to you all. How a snake serves Srimati Radhika and Krishna Kanjuga? Once Srimati Radhika was in anger and he was ready to go from Krishna to his Radha Kunda from anywhere in Govardhan. And he was quickly going, returning. And Krishna was so much worried for that. He wanted to um, stop Radhika, not to go in. But she was um, very strong, strongly in mood to not to be with Krishna. So when she was going uh, to three, four, four yes. steps, he saw that there was a very poisonous snake. And when he saw Srimati Radhika, from other side he could, oh, from, from, raising his horse and ears, he was hissing. Oh, Srimati Radhika was so much afraid. And telling, oh, Krishna, Krishna. And he ran and he, no, he fell in the lap of Krishna. Krishna was fallen. He could not move. But this serpent made Srimati Radhika to again meet with. So Nityanukuram, so helpful for all these things. To eat snakes and scorpions and all others are helping in Krishna. And Radhika serving. Anyhow. To what we speak others? So all are transcendental in Vrindavan. We should have eyes to see this. So, Sukadeva Goswami was so parallel of Srimati Radhika. When Krishna, past times were, were Samadha, and, and completed, and he began to return to Guru Vrindavan with his all essence. Then Srimati and Radhika told, ordered this parallel that you should be in world. World needs you. Because when you will return to Golopindavan, there will be none to save this world by Hari Katha. So you should be in this world and to save this world by Hari Katha. He began to be very both jokes are only. How I can be without you, conjugal? I cannot be in this world. <coughs> but they told me, we will be empowering to be here and to speak Harikatha if you were in this world. And after your work will be finished, you can come there. So, they returned to Golov Vrindavan and Parrot was here. He was flying here and there, looking that where Harikatha is going. Without Harikatha he cannot be. So, if there is anywhere, he was searching the places. He went in Kairos. And where Shankar was telling some this Harikatha, Bhagavad Katha, how Krishna came to this world. And he was explaining to his wife, Parvati Devi. From beginning he was, she was hearing and there on the, on a branch of, of a tree, hiding himself, this parrot was there, here, hiding the thigh. When in Srimad Bhagavat in third canto, he was explaining how creation was done, how all kinds of things were made and other things. No interest, she being a lady, everybody, she slept. <laughs> but that pirate was 
very careful. He began to do hmm, hmm, what more, what more, very good, very good. Go on, go on. Like in the mood of, in the past, like Parvati. And Shankar saw that, oh, Parvati is hearing everything and he went on. To. But when tenth canto was completed, and again, 12 and 11th and 12th came. She walked and told, Oh, I'm, I was sleeping. I could not hear all these things. I want that. I request you to tell again. <laughs> then Sankar told that, uh, I told all these things in vain. But uh, I saw that you are doing hmm, hmm, go on, go on. Very good, very good. Who has been so? And I have not heard all these things. So he began to do that who has such that who was doing like this? Like Parvati's voice. And he saw that in the branch of a very green tree, a radish having a radish. <laughs> And there was a very good and very beautiful one. He took his finger and began to fall. I will kill this part. <laughs> because being a unqualified person and bigger, in Gita, Arun Srimad Bhagavad Krishna has told to Arjun in Gita that you should not tell this Srimad Bhagavad Gita to any un unqualified person. If you are telling that you will have felt some so much offenses, so you should not. It will go without any fraud. So if you are telling all these things to any unqualified person, those who have no honor, you should not tell. So Srimad Bhagavad should not be told. But he, he is like a bird and he has heard, so I should kill. Otherwise, they will be imitation guru and then will be making so many offenses and problems and he will cheat others. So he wanted to kill. But at once that bird flew away and very near he came to Badrikashram. Though by by air going, only four or five miles. But now, by bus or in vehicle or by on foot, we, it will take one month going there so long distance. So in a moment he flew and Sankar took his dragon and began to follow. He was not so much uh, he also walked in the sky and he began to blow and he followed. And then in time that arrow came in the ashram cottage of Vyasdev, where Vyasdev was explaining Srimad Bhagavad same to his wife, Vitika Devi. And she was hearing all these things like very careful. That it is like a nectar I am taking. So his mouth was some open. And at once that bird <laughs> entered in, in his own. But there was no uh, pain or anything. And he heard for 16 years or 12 some no harm, 12 years or 60. I think that the Bhagavad is in divided in 12, so 12 years he heard. And after that, Pyaste told him, Oh, who you are in the home of your mother? Now your mother is feeling some pain. Oh. Then she came, Shankar came and told, uh, I am searching there. That's the doll. 
He did pranam to Shankar and Shankar did pranam to Rashi Prabhu. And then Pyatya told, what you are searching? Oh, have you seen any parrot coming here? Yes, yes, I have seen. But why you are searching? I want to kill that bird. Why? Because he has heard Srimad Bhagavatam being unqualified. So I want to kill. Then we got, where they began to laugh. Oh, you, you know what is the result of hearing Srimad Bhagavatam? Yes, I know. But he becomes Ajar Amar. Immortal. Then if he has become immortal, how you can kill him in that bird? You cannot kill. And he began to laugh. Then Shankar realized his whole mistake. And then he also began to laugh. And then he returned. Oh, Krishna has arranged him. So, nothing to do. After that, after 20, um, 12 years, Vyasadev requested that who are you in the arm of your mother? How you are giving pain? You should come out of me. The boy in home told, I am so, but I cannot come. I can come in this same moment when any powerful person will uh, take away this maya from this world. And that moment I can come. He told that I am powerful, I can do like this. I am taking whole maya from here. You should just come. He told that I have no, I have no faith. If Krishna will come and tell that, then I can come. At once, he asked him, remembered Krishna and Krishna came there. Then Krishna told, Oh, parrot, you should come down from your mother. Om. He told them, Who are you? I am Krishna. Oh, my namaskar to you. What you want, you should come up. He told that I can come only then you will take this Maya from this world. What is this Maya? Maya. There are two letters in this word. Ma means no. Ya means? Ya means what? You are realizing in this world. What you are thinking that I am this body, you are not this body. You are thinking that they are your father, mother, sister and all other things. And all belongs to you, wealth and animals and all the things. But your attachment which is with them, it is wrong thing. So, ma, ya. Don't believe in this. So, by the illusory power of whose maya is going on like this, that I am this body, these are minds, this is called maya. One fraction, one minute, what? Prakash? Manifestation of Jog Maya. This is Mahamaya. So if you will take Mahamaya, then I will come. It will yes, you can come very quickly. I am giving time that a very soft sword. If some linseed sheets are given, and they cannot be there for I am giving time, and so you should come out. So Krishna did that. At once came and ran, began to run. And Sukhdev so Goswami, they asked him, Oh, he is out of Maya. He is transcendental. He is really qualified to hear Srimad Bhagavad that I have seen in my trance. So I want that this word should be. Um, this boy should study Srimad Bhagavatam with me and then he should preach, preach everywhere in this world, Bhagavad Katha, by which all the, uh, by which whole world can be liberated and they will have bhakti and thus Srimad Bhagavatam will be preached in our whole world. 
then that thinking this, oh my son, oh my son, he was born. This will be one good. She should, you, know, you should pay something to Make a big And if you are not uh, doing that, I will see that you are not married to her.
सी दैट यो तुम्हारा राग कट न जाए ताल कट जाता है थोड़ा सा और बाकी बहुत सुंदर वेरी गुड ये सुर डी दैट ये कभी राग टूट न जाए बेताल और सब चीज बहुत सुंदर इसको फिर से कल से अभ्यास करना है जगह दूसरी जगह का Then, where was falling? Why not he was attacked to his son? Because he wanted to initiate that war, and to throw him, he wanted to preach Shrimad Bhagavatam. Shrimad Bhagavatam is so high class of. It is the essence of whole Vrita, Upanishad, Puran, Shastra, Mahabharat, Ramayana, and everything. Which is in Bhagavad is not in anywhere. And anywhere it is anything, it is must be in Shrimad Bhagavad. Nigam kalpataro organitanga phalam, shukha mukha damrita dravasanita, pivata bhagavatam rasamalayam mohor, abhuri bhagavad. We will explain it after but I am going to. So Srimad Bhagavat is like essence of all Srimad Ved and Upanishad. Gita is only essence of Upanishads. Sarva Upanishad of God. That all the Upanishads are like cow and milk is Srimad Bhagavat, Gita. And Krishna is milkman. And bus, coffee is Arjun. And it is not for only Arjun for whole world, that means. But Srimad Bhagavati is the essence of all the Vedas, including Mahabharata, Gita and all the essence of all. Gita is not Russia, but Srimad Bhagavati is Russia. Nigam Kalpartor Galitanga Russian. Vedas are like tree. The Russia is there, but we cannot taste. If you are choosing, choosing, okay, talking the root of trees of mango, you are shocking branches, you are shocking uh, flowers, you cannot. If you are taking fruits of mangoes, green, not mature. Rush will not come. Pen will be ripen. And any parrot will smell and give it touch by his mouth. Or not all. It should be ripen so much. Then itself coming from its branch. Even in touch of air or without, then it will be ripen. It will come. Then it will be so and we can taste. So, we cannot take it, this rush from the trees like Kalpa Briks, Vedas, Upanishadas, Puran, even to Gita, that rush will not come. When it will come in the shape of Srimad Bhagavatam, and especially by the mouth of Sukhade Goswami, who was he? He was associates of Radhika and Krishna. So, it will be more sweeter. So, Sukhade Goswami, he thought that Sukhade Goswami is so qualified person in this whole world. I should make him study Srimad Bhagavatam. He should hear. I am not searching anyone in this world who is qualified to study Srimad Bhagavatam. So he was doing that. Ocean, ocean, ocean. But trees were empty. When we went some distance, some very beautiful Gandhars, wives of Gandhars, they were playing in the water, any pond, good pond. So many lots were there, so fragrant air was going. And they were naked and they were playing to each other, doing water like this. And in the meantime, Sukhdev Goswami passed. 
they have never looked after. They were pain. But when they are there, being aged so much, two, three hundred years, up, three hundred become so old, so much white beard and long ears with also white and he was fallen. Then they became some ashamed, they came out of pond, they took their garments and they on the hidden in any tree, see, and they were going around to Vyas. Vyas they came nearer to them and asked, my dear, daughters, daughters, daughters. Why you were sent with me? I am so much old. And my son, his age is like 12, he is naked and he is going, you have no ashamed for her, he, and now, why you are ashamed? You can come in my laps, like father and mother, more than that, and you are ashamed with me. They told me that your son being at the age of 12, he was nothing to ask with us. That who are you? You are wood, uh, wood, or stone, or anything. And he was in trance like that, and he was gone. And you saw that we are girls, and you are coming to me and asking why. So you have sense that we are ladies, and you are male, and we are female. So you have sense. What is same, he does, never knows that. What is same? Like this cloth, his body is there. Nothing to cover. This body is also like cover. So what is the use of cover to cover? So he is going to end. We have no shame. But now, look at you. Oh, you are saying that you are you were naked and after that you became covered your this body. That is why. <clears throat> but so they go some event in the days, very deep forest. Like birds we are in there. Next day Pyas wanted to suck that poem and to bring it. So he took one poem of Srimad Bhagavatam and to, gave it to the hunters. That you should go and this is a very powerful mantra. If you will chant this mantra in forest, all kinds of birds and what you want, all will be collected very easily. So you should go. And you went and they began to to shout this mantra. Varaha Pildam, Natabarbabu, Karnayu, Karnikaram, Vipratabhasa, Kanakkapisham, Vajayan, Randrana Vain Brothers with their Puri and Go Patente, Vendar and Dam, Sabadaraman, Pravisha, the Gita, the Gita. This is the best slope for the being of Krishna. Krishna is going with legs and legs cows, with legs and legs covered boys like Dam, Shidam, Sudam, Pasudam, Sto, Krishna, Madhumangal, Shuval, and all others, Arjun, Ujjwal, playing them with them and shouting sometimes. Cows like dhiri dhiri means slowly, 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 slowly they are like, not running here. Tiri tiri, oh you want to take water? Tiri tiri tiri, come on. And in the bank of this pond, the Jamuna. Niri niri means oh you should take water. Choo 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 choo. And drinking, 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 like this. Like this. Oh, while they are clapping sometimes and dancing with Krishna, they are going one forest to another. Krishna, these clothes are like very lightning. Thunder. And his body is like Meghashya. Meghashya means new cloth. Not black. So much beautiful. Krishna is most beautiful. Not black, but love and new clothes taking full of so much water there as if water is going to show. And 
Banmala is there. Uh, Banmala means five or seven kinds of wild flowers, and some tulsi manjari is there, and we are hammering on these. I mean, and uh, all the points are. Kanaya, 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 Jai Kanaya, Lalke doing this, and thus Krishna is going. And some good friends are there, and in fruit friends are there are 19 kinds of symptoms: Bajra, Bhaja, Ankush, Pataka, and so everything is there. So he is doing now this. Also Brahma is doing. नौ विद्यते या प्रभावशे तलितम् बराय मुन्जावतं सुपरिपच्छल संमुखाय संमुखाय बत बत कलो में तार वेत्र विशान वेगु लक्ष्मास्ये मिदुपते पशुपंगजाय सो बट दिस इस लोग इस मोस्ट पावरफुल हियर इन दिस ही कैन एट वंस फ्रॉम वेयर यू लर्न दिस इस लोग ओ माय गुरुदेव हैस and so many birds came in their net. Then they become so happy and he told that, I want to meet your Gurudev, but what is the quality? This is the shape of beauty of Krishna. But how merciful he is, I want to know. Then he went to Vyastra and we are very happy that so many birds has come in their net. And they told that a very beautiful boy came to us naked and he told that if that Krishna is so beautiful, what are these qualities? Then he told that you should read this shlok and so many birds again will come. Then he told, Aho bhakiyam stanakala kutam jikhan ลีเฮกติตโตธาตุกจิตตะวันนั้นคงวาดยาลุมสารนัมประจิมคงวาดยาลุมสารนัมโอ้ยวันที่เหี้ยสุดยศรีพิทิสในเดอะฟอร์เ
निर्विशेष ब्रह्म नैपुण्य अपरिनिष्ठित आई हैव सो मच फिक्स माय इंटेलिजेंस इन निर्विशेष ब्रह्म बट दिस निर्विशेष ब्रह्म इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम शंकर ब्रह्म शंकर संप्रदाय दैट शंकर संप्रदाय आर ऑफेंडर बट ही वाज नॉट His Brahma has, was nirvishesh, no akar, no shape, but so much uh, qualities. His Brahma is so merciful, but Shankar's nothing. Having no shape, no attribute, no power, nothing. Like a zero of Bhagavata. So much difference. And he began to study and after that he became so Learned and so sweet, knowing all the rasas, and then he came in the council of Parichit Maharaj, and he was uttering Shrimad Bhagavatam. Go, Praman. Panchatattva, and then Maham. Oh, oh, oh. 